Hello everyone. Today's topic is hunger, hardship and popular revolt. As we discussed in the last video, it was regarding revolutionaries. Today it is uh, regarding 1848 revolt that is hunger, hardship and popular revolt. In 1848 another revolt took place in Europe including France. So you can say along with Europe. Uh, there was some incidents which took place in France, which was which were popular in uh, uh, popularly known as revolution. There were there was increase in population, which resulted in increase in unemployment and migration from village to city. Due to which there was rise of food price as people migrated came from village to city uh, obviously food price would be raised they had to feed large um, uh, large people there so the food price rise there was uh, including the natural uh, nature also was, had put some hardship over the people that is there was bad harvest crops failed uh, then uh, storage of there was lots of storage of food grains as we already studied in French Revolution uh, Tuileries uh, palace was being stored with food grains and uh, people attacked that the same thing again this was been repeated in France there was stiff competition of textiles as Britain exported textiles to France which created unfavorable conditions that is britain was an exporter uh, of textiles it exported uh, uh, over the whole country including france so france didn't have uh, that is uh, um, they they couldn't work on their own they had a tough competition with britain so what happened because of these unfavorable conditions what happened was situation in france uh, and also situation in silesia we can see what happened because of those unfavorable conditions problems that outburst in 1848 revolution of the peasants that is also called as revolution of the peasants so situation in france louis philippi was forced to flee from his position in 1830 he was installed as constitutional monarchy that he was now asked to leave his position flee away forced to leave his position national assembly proclaimed a republic where the head of the state will be elected person that is uh, now national assembly which was there it became republic which means the head of the state whoever was there he was being elected so granted so granted suffrage to all adult male got the point so here in france these things happened because there were unfavorable conditions in uh, situation in silesia a small region in persia Prussia, I am sorry, it is not Persia, it is Prussia, a small region in Prussia. So, weavers in Silesia uh, got the work from contractors or merchants, that is, uh, weaving work was being given by the contractors or merchants, but they got very low wages. Who? The weavers from Silesia got very low wages because of which weavers attacked merchants they were fed up of low wages they didn't had bread to eat so what did they do they attacked weavers uh, uh, the weavers attacked the merchants and contractors houses and made them run away and looted their furnitures and porcelain utensils so that time porcelain utensils were costly items and furnitures were been also looted and porcelain utensils were also looted so this is an obvious obvious question all the time question this is situation in silesia or the weavers situation in the small region of prussia okay so this this is quite important so then the revolution of liberals in 1848 that is the revolution of peasants in 1848 revolution of liberals in 1848 so there were two revolutions okay and this revolution was of middle class 
This was the revolution parallel to the revolt of the poor peasants. Okay, the poor peasants were also revolting in 1848. Along with the side by side, there was revolt of this middle class or liberal people. This was led by liberal middle class men and women who wanted constitutionalism with national unification. Okay, these uh, poor people were fighting for bread. They didn't uh, fighting for wages. They didn't have bread to eat. They had low wages. uh so they had to pay more taxes so they were fighting but here liberals and middle class wanted constitutionalism they wanted their own constitution and they wanted national unification as they were educated middle class they knew the concept of unification nationalism so they wanted national unification thus there was the case of germany wherein in frankfurt parliament led to the revolution of liberals so uh, this is quite important frankfurt parliament case of germany if they ask and if they ask write about frankfurt parliament you got to write the uh, next slide what i am going to show you so what happened in frankfurt parliament uh, frankfurt parliament or case of germany middle class group went to frankfurt city there was no germany during that time instead it was uh, prussia okay instead of germany it was prussia later on it became germany frankfurt parliament conveyed at st paul's church so they the group uh, uh, who wanted frankfurt parliament the group of people who wanted frankfurt parliament came and joined at st paul church there they voted for all german national assembly they wanted a national assembly as it was in france so 831 members drafted a constitution but the wave of unification failed though they came to frankfurt city they found parliament 831 voted drafted the constitution voted for constituent assembly national assembly the wave of unification failed because friedrich wilhelm iv the king of prussia rejected the constitution okay so frankfurt parliament failed then unification the process of being united or made into whole so now uh, though the wave of unification failed in germany that is frankfurt parliament failed in germany for the first time monarchs believed that they, this wave would return would return back so as they were scared about it they started abolishing serfdom and bonded laborers gave concessions also so they started being nice to the people who became uh, who started being the king the uh, who's a feudal system the rich people later the russian empire and habsburg empire started diluting the power as they came to know that the wave of unification is becoming strong so the russian empire and habsburg empire gave away their powers the major unifications are germany unification unification of italy and unification of britain so these are the three which you go, you have to remember this is usual questions in your papers so next video will be on the three important unifications please like share and subscribe